Hello there, about to do another EDF test. Um, this one is the fan unit that I was going to put in the Hobby King F16, the new 64mm fan. Um, and I did say about the fact that I'd got the last uh, Hayoi 7 bladed 64mm fan from Hobby King. Uh, but I had a bit of an accident. <laughs> Basically, I. Um, was running this up I was testing it for how it was balanced and whatnot and um, yeah I was running it on three cell it was all right on three cell um, and even though it was already kind of maxed out on three cell I thought I'd give it a quick run up on four cell and um, yeah I knew I sh probably should have filed some flat spots on the motor shaft <laughs> because the fan uh, came flying out and went flying across the room put a big dent and a gouge in the wall and uh, as you can see there that's the result so um, rather annoyingly I don't have the Hayoi 7 bladed rotor anymore which is a bit annoying because uh, it was pretty good performance just on 3 cell um, I knew 4 cell was going to be too much but I couldn't resist just giving it a quick blast um, so what I've done is I've got a RC Lander 5 bladed rotor as you can see there uh, do a bit of a modification um, I wasn't going, to, wasn't going to risk using grub screw type uh, shaft adapter again so I managed to adapt a collet adapter to fit uh, that fan rotor um, I was able to use the the spinner dome from the other um, blade as well had to do a slight modification on that to get that to fit um, but here we are now um, yeah like I said uh, the, the motor is slightly too big uh, for this it can only take up to 28 mil and this is a 29 mil uh, motor so I had to dremel out all inside to get it to fit but it made it very thin it was very flimsy um, so all round on the inside uh, round where the motor goes on well on the outside of it um, I fiberglassed it with some very thin uh, fiberglass cloth and um, some finishing epoxy and yeah that stiffened it up quite a bit um, so I was able to fit this motor in there now and it's yeah it's really strong now um, so it's it's not the cleanest job it's not that smooth but it's stronger now um, and what I thought I'd do straight away, I thought I'd try it on the four cell. Um, I've got a Zippy Compact 2700 milliamp 60C four cell, and using a Hobby King 80 amp speed controller. I may not end up using that particular speed controller uh, if I put it in the F16, but um, oh well, let's give it a go. Um, this five bladed rotor does pull a lot less current so hopefully this is okay running it on four cell so let's see um, I've got one of my other <laughs> my funny um, homemade intake lips this one's from a polystyrene cup uh, probably won't be using it on the actual um, fan in the plane there won't be room for it but it will simulate the ducting inside the plane so hopefully it improves performance it probably uh, hopefully be about the same in the plane but let's see what we get I'm going to stand back a bit for this one Yeah, that's a, a Ghoul RC 4800 KV 
2948 in runner. 78 amps. 1122 watts. It says it's rated up to 12.6 volts, but I thought I'll try running it on the four cell. Um, it's because it, it says it's rated up to a thousand watts. So yeah, it's not even getting up. <laughs> Blimey, that sounded sweet, nice and balanced. But look at the thrust. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my word! Thirty-two degrees. I mean, these these motors do come from China, so there's a bit of a weight getting them but they're not that expensive so I mean if it burns out I can just get another one um, although the the collet adapter is pretty stuck on that one um, but I me that is crazy up a little bit then it's getting warm obviously if you're just doing quick blasts and shine it off it's gonna thirty five degrees C yeah that's about So it's not too bad, but <laughs> that's a 64 mil fan putting out nearly 1700 grams of thrust. That is crazy. <laughs> that is going to make that F16 absolutely scream. Right. Well, I think that's um, a pretty successful test there. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get this in the Hobby King F16, um, and I could end up with the world's fastest Hobby King F16 there with that setup. Um, so if you want to see that get built and fly. Um, subscribe and hopefully uh, I'll get that sorted out one day I've got loads of planes and projects to do um, I've got quite a few ducted fan planes I haven't even built yet um, but <laughs> that was crazy that is really impressive with that anyway yeah so if you like this video click like and if you want to see other stuff, subscribe. And I'll be doing motor tests like this every week. And you'll also see plane videos and all sorts of other stuff. Thanks. Bye-bye.